Now, we know that Lagos traffic is a major problem for a lot of us. How can you combat Lagos traffic? How can you find your peace amidst all the chaos and madness that abounds in this city? Salsa. Now, what does salsa do for you? One, you close from work, and rather than go home, you go and dance salsa. You've waited out the traffic. By the time you're done, the road is free. Two, you are burning calories whilst you're dancing. Three, you're meeting new people. Who knows? If you are single, you can meet your life partner there. Anything can happen. You can meet your next business associate there. There's several advantages of meeting new people in these spaces. Now, I have gone to explore salsa myself, and I got to speak with someone who is a salsa instructor and an expert salsa dancer. Of course, we got to do a few movements. I got to move my body as well. I'm not going to embarrass myself in the studio. I'm just going to allow you to watch, listen, learn, and hopefully heal me for my amazing salsa dancing set. We have been exploring ways to find your peace in Lagos, most especially because we all know that the traffic can be crazy. Now, one way is through dance. They say that dance is the hidden language of the soul. Some others say that the job of the feet is walking, but their hobby is dancing. And today, we dance, not just any kind, but salsa. of Victoria Island, Lagos, where these people are dancing, burning calories, enjoying themselves, meeting new people and networking in the process, and more importantly, waiting out traffic for a lot of them. So these people are, some of them are working class people, and after work, rather than go home, they decide to stay back, wait out the traffic, and then have fun in the process. Now, I've had such an amazing time tonight, and some of the tips that I would give to you when coming to dance outside would be this. Number one, as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup on. I'd advise that if you call me, I call me out with no makeup on because you will sweat and you'll start to feel a little itchy. So what you can do is carry your makeup wipes in your bags to quickly wipe out your face. Second tip would be to come with comfortable shoes. There's going to be a lot of twisting and spinning out of place, but when your, your shoes are comfortable, it'll help you navigate properly through the steps. My number three tip would be to wear comfortable clothes, something that can let you move. And more importantly, something that will allow a bit of fresh air because you will sweat and you will burn calories. All these and more you can gain from dancing salsa. My name is Olive Emmerdy and I'm here to help you find your peace in Lagos with salsa. It's time for me to get back into the party. Beyond the fancy and seemingly seamless movement of salsa, there is an art to this dance. Joining us to talk about everything salsa is a dance instructor and an avid dance lover. My name is Buddy Dobara Ageda, um, aka Salsa Lover, King of Salsa, all kinds of nicknames people call me. I'm a Nigerian, I'm from Bielsa State, and uh, I basically live in Lagos where I just love to salsa. I love to dance, I love to teach people how to dance. Salsa, reggaeton, bachata, all the Latin, Afro-Latin dances. And I love to engage people, you know, to make them have fun, make people happy basically using salsa as a tool to keep Lagos basically happy. Salsa is hot sauce. Salsa is a mixture of a lot of stuff. Salsa is a mixture of bachata, reggaeton, cha-cha, son, timba, you know, mambo. They all come together to form salsa. It originated, uh, well, um, part of it in Cuba, but it's basically a Nigerian tradition. Salsa originated from Afro-Cuban rhythms, which you can trace all the way back to the entire Yoruba community and of course to Congo and the uh, Beni Republic. So salsa, basically I would say, or you can even find that on the net, is a Yoruba tradition. The popularity of salsa in Lagos is, I would say, is as wide or as far as over uh, 50,000 people. So yeah, salsa is very popular in Lagos and it's still growing. Salsa is the best remedy for stress. Salsa is the best remedy for Lagos rush hour traffic. Salsa is the best remedy for um, 
people that are depressed. I say this because I do this every day. And guess what? I have never seen someone dancing and frowning. I've never seen someone dancing and being angry. I've never seen someone dancing and getting upset. I mean, well, you come with your problems, but as soon as you start a class, as soon as you get up and take that first step, backward, forward, sideways, whichever the step is, you begin to smile. You begin to forget your problems. You begin to feel the dance moves. You, you just begin to dance. That's why I tagged my ninth uh, Salsa Happiness Edition, Happy People in Lagos, because you close from work, the next thing that hits you is rush hour traffic. With everything you face throughout the day, you sit down, you relax, you dance. You meet people, you smile, you network, you socialize, and you burn some calories while you're doing it. And we take away the stress. There's a very big relationship between salsa and weight loss. This is because a lot of people come to us and say, look, they don't want to go to the gym, they're too lazy to go to the gym to, to do other forms of exercise. And we say, just come to salsa. Come and smile, come and be happy, come and network, come and relax. And while you're relaxing, we are teaching you certain steps that gets you to start moving your body. And when you start moving your body, you begin to burn some calories. And by doing that, you find yourself losing weight. You know, some people come to the class and they can only dance one song. After like three or four classes, they are dancing three to four songs back to back. So they begin to become fit, you know, physically fit. And a lot of people burn calories as well. Regularly, you will definitely see the impact of salsa on weight loss. What motivated me to start salsa was basically my health. I had high cholesterol issues and then I needed to get active. I'm an online person, so I'm always stationary. So I needed something to make me active and I decided to do salsa. Cholesterol is down. Weight has gone down by 10 kg. It's been amazing. I feel energized. I feel, I feel stronger. And then totally, it's amazing. For those that are interested in doing salsa, First of all, you get to socialize, you get to meet new people. And um, for those looking to lose weight, they can do that too with salsa. And then basically you feel good generally, you just feel good. It's addictive. You should be warned. When you start, you don't want to stop because of the energy it brings to you. And then generally when you get home, you feel lighter, you feel better. It's amazing, you keep coming. <laughs> The kind of songs that go with salsa music basically are songs with the clave rhythm, which is but we have different clave beats that forms the origin or origin of salsa music. But basically, you can dance salsa to almost any song. You know, you can dance salsa to some R&B songs. You can dance salsa to some pop songs. You know, you can just find your counts depending on the kind of salsa you do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you find your rhythm in any music, you can dance salsa. Best costume for salsa is to look good, smell good, be good, <laughs> and have those smiles. Dress, of course, comfortably. Um, you could put on a jacket if you're comfortable with it. Uh, for the ladies, make sure you wear comfortable gowns. Uh, clothes that, once you're being spun, you, you, I mean, the clothes doesn't get too high or expose yourself or whatever. If you're a beginner, you don't have to have stiletto shoes. You can come with flash shoes. When, when you learn and become better, you can now put on stiletto shoes. But it's always good to have the, the heels so you look proper, you know, like a proper dancer. And of course, it helps your posture, it helps your build. You know, for the gentlemen, always look good, always smell good, and be nice to the ladies. To learn salsa, you don't necessarily need a dance partner. If you have a partner, I always encourage, come with your partner. If you don't have a partner, or your partner is busy, come alone, learn, and the moves you learn, you can also go and teach your partner, your friend, your spouse, your enemy, 
anybody you want to teach. In terms of in privacy invasion while dancing salsa, which is a problem, which most married men will say, ah, no, I don't want my wife to go and dance because I don't want another man to hold her or something, you know. Salsa teaches the man to respect the lady. We have strict rules on what to do and what not to do. And once you begin to apply it from one lady to the other, you are built naturally to respect a lady. So the issue of privacy um, or harassment or touch or whatever we, that people are afraid of in salsa, you can defeat it more when you begin to dance salsa because we teach you all those things and we also build your confidence in communicating with the opposite sex. So yes, salsa is one place um, that helps to teach both male and female how to respect themselves when they're in close contacts. How long it takes to learn salsa? Basically for me, I always tell people, you never stop learning salsa. But to get through the basic moves, between 10 to 20 classes, which you can do in two weeks, or one month as the case may be. You learn the basic steps, double side, single side, whatever it is, the combination is, or your foundation is, you go to the next level. So you have a beginner level, improver level, intermediate level, on intermediate level you start dancing. So it, it just depends on the person's rhythm. If you understand music, every Nigerian basically has rhythm, you know, so for us it's just basically one month. Salsa is very affordable to learn, to dance, you know. You can contact any of your lo uh, local instructors, whichever location you're at. Different instructors have different prices. Uh, basically, what we do is we have a cover charge of 2,000 naira per head. With 10,000 naira in a month, you can become a very good salsa dancer. So yeah, uh, it's very, very affordable. Salsa tips for beginners. Every beginner, I will say to you, come and try salsa. The steps are very easy. Apart from learning the basic steps, you're socializing, you're networking, you're meeting new people, you're exercising. Trust me, a lot of companies that have come for team bonding activities found out how unfit they are after like 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, the more you practice, the more you build on your confidence, the more you build on your physical fitness, the more you build on your social abilities and capabilities to network or socialize. So for me, every beginner out there should come out and try salsa. Listen to the rhythm, enjoy yourself, and just basically learn the basic moves. After that, we'll take it to the next level. Hello everyone, my name is Buddy Ageda Salsa, AKA King of Salsa, Bachata, Reggaeton, Cha Cha, all them Afro Latin dances. I found my peace in Lagos dancing salsa. You can too, come join us. a dramatic night here, learning salsa, dancing salsa, stepping on people's toes on the dance floor, sweating. I feel like I've lost a lot of calories already. I'm feeling so fit. But this is where I call it a night. I've had such an amazing time and I hope that you enjoyed yourself as well. My name is Olive Emody and this is how I find my peace in Lagos. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.